So we got something, we got something to talk about. Yeah. Just got this package in. Really excited, really nervous. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be reviewing all this wonderful merch that I got in and how I made it and sort of the process. All of this is now actually available online. I'm really excited about all this. It's taken months and months to get to this point. So I have five new prints I'm really excited to open and see. I have yet to see these. Wow, wow, okay, these are really awesome. These are renditions of past artworks I loved so much I wanted to make like a more affordable print of. Also, it's like the most requested DM and email I get is people asking for sort of inexpensive prints of my artwork. So we got two oil paintings, which I simply just took high quality photos of Gandalf and Queen Elise, two of my favorite oil paintings. Then we got the Cyclops brain, we got Medusa and the Headless Girl triptych. Those were all original paintings that I did in real life. Um, the Cyclops slew was four different canvases, but I redigitized this into a new colorway. This is also like the Slewniverse logo. Really love this colorway. The classic Medusa, one of my favorite characters ever, um, was three different paintings, but again, I redigitized it into this awesome colorway that I'm super happy with. And this one is a bit more loud in your face, some more reflections and shadows that I really like. The original paintings are a bit more subtle. This is a little more complex. And then the classic Headless Girl triptych based off a huge mural project. You know, I have two of these paintings still. I sold the Red Rose one, um, so I couldn't get high quality photos of those. So I just redigitized those as well. All on my iPad, you know, I use Procreate, which is an unbelievable application. You've heard millions of artists talk about it, but you know, it's actually a very long process going in, sort of re digitizing, redrawing the whole character and then adding the correct color and shading and tweaking them a lot. So I'm super happy with these. These are both 11 by 17. The two oil paintings and the Cyclops slew are 11 by 14. Hopefully a lot of people will get them. Additions of 50 and now I have to sign them all. Prints are pretty tricky to sign. I did it once before with my other print drop. I have a better idea, but it's all, you just gotta find your flow, how to, you know, lay them out. I use the cotton gloves to not get any oil fingerprints on the nice shiny new prints. And I'm using a Sharpie this time to sign them. Um, these are poster board prints. And so it, it, it takes the material differently than the G clay thicker prints, which I used um, pencil to sign. So that's just the one little difference. And it's, it's nice and rough on the lower back. Done with the signing. I got some brand new stickers as well. New stickers that I'm really excited about. Again, the Cyclops slew character that I kind of redrew a different shading, sort of lighting dynamic colorway. Um, also the Slewniverse color scheme with a Slewniverse logo sticker. These are super swag, I think. And then a couple OG old stickers. There's only gonna be 200 sticker packs. I'm gonna pack them all up right now. You know, last time I dropped the sticker packs, they went really fast. So if you do want some stickers, Go ahead right now to Sluniverse.com to get yours. Who doesn't love stickers? Come on, they're quite literally the best little tchotchka. I collect stickers from a bunch of different artists. They're really fun and easy to make. I use basically two websites, Sticker Mule or Sticker Giant. They're pretty much the same thing. They just have a couple different um, versions of stickers and prices. So it's really easy to make. You just upload your artwork and they send them to you super fast. Pretty amazing. Okay, okay. Samples, just got this package in. Really excited. Okay, so the hoodie is good quality. Dang, that's pretty cool. Woo! That looks sick. Damn. This is actually, they nailed it first try. Oh wow, XL is actually perfect. Slooniverse facing you, embroidery, nice metal clasps, really thick, nice hoodie. Holy crap. Okay, I just got excited. <laughs> Woohoo! Damn, this one could be even sicker. How's the centering though? Centering's good. Damn, damn. These are fucking sick. Holy. Hell yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so 
happy with these so we got something we got something to talk about yeah so these hoodies are like really high quality i'm super happy with them the other hoodie production i went through the sword and serpent fully customized hoodie from the ground up three custom embroideries like i don't go half ass with these merch drops and these are no exception two embroideries multicolor embroidery you know really thick 80 20 hoodie um 80 cotton 20 synthetic it's thick it's soft of the highest quality and they're just taking way longer than i expected to produce and then to be shipped to me so they're not going to be available until new year's um so that way you know i can't guarantee before christmas just in case people order it if i put it up for a pre-sale now we put it up for a pre-sale um it's not gonna be ready just in case so hopefully everyone saves money obviously over christmas and it will be worth the wait it's still like the winter season these are super thick if you're familiar with the sword and serpent you know those are very thin almost like a a faux long sleeve really swag but this is completely the opposite direction really really thick high quality so these will be available after new year's basically on new year's um and there's only 200 produced 100 of each color really epic yeah so these are other little tchotchkes we have um they're basically the leftover g clay prints of my last print release of victor and the missing faces um which sold really well and i was really happy with them these are like basically mega high quality prints just on a very micro scale so they're like eight inches uh and six inches still g clay high quality archival ink and they're little postcards so i think they could be great to give to a loved one just a little add-on um if you didn't get the full print and just have it i think they're pretty swag so these are also available and in all seriousness besides this goofy setup um you know i really appreciate everyone supporting it's a crazy time of the year making merchandise hoodies you know i'm no fashion person but it's really fun to design these things i only design the hoodies to wear them you know and hopefully other people like them and same with the prints like they're super affordable just for people to have because again it's been like three four years of people saying we need we want prints and so go check it out um stay tuned i have so many cool projects in the works i'm so excited like this year was pretty crazy and it started off really like slow and I was a little um, in the weeds in my own emotions. But now I've picked up. I'm in a really good place. I just am firing off projects. I'm only focusing on things that really matter to me, which are epic painting projects um, and just cool stuff. So, yeah, working with other YouTubers soon, big collaborations, new podcasts, hopefully, if you guys are still into it. This Lunaverse podcast, um, which this hoodie is actually an ode to. So let me know what you think. See you in the next video.